Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Weekend mods are a thing this week. Well, weekend mod, uh, today we have a compact tractor from Pepe970, the Guerrero Tractors Compact VLB75. This is a new mod for all platforms, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the store options, the customization, as well as have a little fun in the vineyard behind us. I also have a full mod preview on this tractor that was supposed to release today, but... The tractor's here, so that video has been set to unlisted. I'll link it below if you guys will check it out. There are a lot of easy ways to find this, but since it's a new brand, let's go to brands and let's go into Carrero Tractors. And here it is, the Compact VLB75. Now, they say that this stands for Low Wide Vineyard because it is extremely low and it is actually quite wide for a vineyard tractor as well. Of course, they do say that this tractor is designed for working in vineyards with row widths of 1.5 meters and up from there. You can also work under a uh, tent and canopy crops. That's pretty cool. One other thing that sets this apart, you may notice that the seat is super, super low. So this tractor all in general has a very low center of gravity, which allows for both the driver's seat to be lowered down and the hood to be lower down as well than, well, really any other tractor in its class. As far as customization in the game goes, there's really not a bunch of it. We got 75 horsepower on the engine, which cannot be changed. We have a manual transmission, which cannot be changed, 75 liters fuel, 24 miles per hour max speed, and it weighs 2.2 tons. We do have some customization for the wheels, though. So we've got wheel brands from Trilobog. We also have Continental, Michelin, Radestein, and back in again. So Continental, Trelleborg, Michelin, Radestein, none of those have any different wheel setup. So what you see is what you get. You're really just changing the brand there. As far as front weights go, we have nothing or we have a 150 kilogram front weight. Chain does nothing as far as in game goes um, and everything else is exactly what it looks like. As for rim colors, we do have your standard four colors. So we have the white, we have silver, gray, and black and there's not a whole lot more that you need there chrome maybe when you buy one this is how it's going to come it does have that headache wreck the uh, rollover bar it does have that pre like raised up but you can lower that down let's go ahead and turn all of our stuff on here and let's show you how to do it all so first up we'll turn it on sounds very nice but it is a small tractor so nothing big and har 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 we can fold that roll bar up and down and the uh, beacon will continue to work even if you've got that down. So you can raise it up, put it down, and that will still work. And in first person, it does look pretty cool as well. I like that, that's awesome. As far as everything else, well, that's kind of it as far as doing stuff with it goes. Uh, it is a quick boy. It says it'll do 24, but it'll actually do 26 in game once you get it in there. And uh, the turning radius is ridiculous. Look at this, all right. Look at that. It basically turns around on itself, which is just wild. As far as first person goes, I mean, everything works. Everything everywhere that you would expect to work does work. So when you're moving stuff, when you're turning on lights, everything, it all works. It's pretty cool. So let's get hooked up to a sprayer right here so you guys can see. This is a pretty heavy sprayer, 600 liter capacity on the back. Uh, so it ain't lightweight. This is also for Pepe. We'll come through here, turn on the uh, the atomizer, if you want to call it that, and uh, rock and roll. We just got some standard width grapes in here. Nothing wild, nothing crazy, and it's doing its job. And again, oh well, I may have folded it. There we go. Again, you can raise and lower this whenever you would like. I think it looks cool down, but this is also meant for. I mean, look at that. Like, dude's mohawk is the only thing that's above the grapes, which is just wild. And because of this tractor's small size, but actual, like, decent amount of power, we could come in here, we could go and dump, like, 3,000 liters worth of grapes in here. We'll go and get that done, taken care of. We'll jump in here, and we'll probably get this, well, about 50% completed. But the great thing is, though it may seem a little bit heavy in that harvester... In this tractor, because it is so powerful for its size, it'll be 75 horsepower. And this itty bitty little thing? Come on. <laughs> There's engines less powerful in bigger cars than this. We're fine. We're totally good. No issues whatsoever. So I wanted to show you this as well. So whenever you're coming out, you will need to kind of swing it out a little bit. But 
it just jumps right back in. No issues whatsoever. Most of the time when you're doing stuff in a venue, <laughs> going a little faster here. Most of the time you are skipping rows. So like this, no issues there whatsoever. But if you are going to be um, popping around, I mean, look at that. Barely even any reaction at all. Just go left a little bit. Oh, I cut that one a little too tight. All right. You, you get the point though. The turning radius is epic on this. Before we took off, I wanted to show you this tractor in comparison to two of the base game tractors that we've got for uh, doing stuff like this, the Landini as well as the Fent. So you can see just right off the bat, it is much, much lower. And if we drop down the headache wreck all together, you can see we are much, much lower. The seat is lower. Of course, there is no, there's no cabot around it. So we can really get in some tight spots that you wouldn't be able to normally do. On top of that, because this has such a great turning radius, it is big and wide. I mean, look at the front difference in this tractor between the fin. Now the fin is well known to be the skinniest tractor in the game, but even in front of the Landini, we've got a much wider base. This gives you a lot more stability and it may be exactly what you're looking for. And it may just be exactly what you want in a fun tractor to have as a small tractor on your farm. It's not that expensive, 45 grand. Well, guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it if you did. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the Gohan fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Again, I want to thank Pepe978 for at least sending this over to do a uh, future review. Uh, again, that was supposed to come out today. And instead, the mod has come out today. So again, that video is set to unlisted. It is linked in the description if you would like to check it out. Also, I'd like to thank Carrero for the opportunity to make that video for them. I believe they're going to be using it for some promo stuff, things like that. So very, very exciting. Otherwise, hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy the new mod, and we'll see you later. Peace.